Welcome to our video series where we're going through the cat pat for grade 12s and we are starting our phase three and to do that we need to set up our report that we started in phase one and we are going to discuss how you can start with your introduction. So let's get into it. So there are two main parts to the phase three. The one is going to be your report which we started in phase one and we're going to actually complete the core parts of it with the information. And then we're going to create a website. So let's just talk about this report. They talk about the report here, about what must be there. They give us the different steps that we need to do. The first step is that we need to copy the report from our phase two folder. Now, some of you might not have done that. If you see this instruction over here at the end of phase two, they talked about copying the report from phase one to the phase two folder and adding the graphs and your finding headings and so on to that part. That's what you have to do at the end of phase two. However, there aren't any marks allocated to the step, so it is very possible that you haven't done it yet. So if we go to our cat pat folder, if you haven't done that step, then obviously go to your phase one folder, go to your report, and you're going to copy that report and paste it into your phase three folder under report and then give it a good heading. So we want this, I'm going to say this is my phase three report. If you've already done that in your phase two, then obviously go to your phase two report folder and copy that. Obviously you should probably rename that to phase two report just so we can clearly see the difference between the different parts of the report. So that's the first step is to copy that report from your phase one or phase two folder and put it into your phase three folder and then open it up. Then it talks about making sure that you use the correct styles and so on. I find it better to put the information in first and then afterwards we can come back and just tweak things here and there regarding the styles. They talk here about your cover page. This is what you should have done in phase one. If you come here, you've got your cover page, you've got your name and surname, the name of your school, the subject name and the path topic you chose. We already added that from our phase one. And now they want you to add a meaningful abstract in the suitable control. Now we did this in my video when we started the phase one, we used the focus question. So maybe it's a good time now to go look at that abstract and see how you can adapt it. Maybe put a bit more information about the topic so you can tweak it. They say here three to four lines, not more than that which is a brief summary about your topic. You could probably use your focus question as inspiration for what it's going to be, but they say that after reading, you should have an idea of what the report's gonna be about. So a nice little part for the front page. So you can do that part now. Then they said add an automatic table of contents and figures. We already did that, which we'll go through again when we edit the report at the end. We'll add the table of figures as well at the end. I actually want to jump down to the introduction which is part five here, write your introduction. So this, these are the three key steps. You need to give an overview of the original problem. You need to state the focus and purpose of the investigation and make sure that you do not add any additional information. Those are the three things. Now they tell you to look at your task definition and focus question. And if we go to our task definition and focus question, which mine is on the next page, you'll notice that what is the current situation is very close to giving a clear overview of focus of the original problem. And then the focus and purpose, which was our second paragraph of our task definition, the second part is the focus and the purpose as well. So technically your task definition, the first two questions that you answered are going to be, be the inspiration for your introduction. So what I would actually do is this, I would first copy the first two questions. I'll copy your information that you've got under there and your information that you've got under the focus and purpose, all of it. And I would paste it here. So you've got two paragraphs here, one for the problem, one for the focus and the purpose. I would also go and get your focus question and paste that as well under the introduction. So you'll have that information over here. Obviously I haven't done it. So you would have to put your information over there. And by using those three paragraphs, we've already got the information. But if we come look at the instruction, it says do not simply use them verbatim. So we can't just copy and paste them like that. We will have to then edit it so that it flows a little bit for our introduction. So there you've at least got the core information and then I would go edit this so that it doesn't look exactly the same as what you're going to write in your task definition. Make it flow, make it work together, change the wording a little bit, incorporate a bit of the discussion regarding your focus question as long as you do not add any additional unnecessary information. So go take your current situation, focus and purpose from the task definition, the first two paragraphs, go get your focus question, go tweak it a little bit so that it is not exactly the same as the task definition, but it flows nicely. And that way you're going to get 
marks for clear overview of the problem, purpose and the focus are done, no unnecessary additional information. You'll get all four marks of the introduction. So go do that and get those four marks. Just a reminder, if you need any help with your cat pet, as well as anything else related to cat, then make sure that you subscribe to at Miss Long IT and Cat. We'll love to help you with further stuff going forward. And remember, don't do it the long way. Do it the Mr. Long way.